everybody and today I'll be reviewing Studio Series number 40 Shatter. Alright, do not have the packaging but here you go. Painting and sculpting on this figure is really really good. But I just do not like the backpack, the large huge brick brick. Hopefully a kibble fix right here. There's a little pin right here where you can just pop that out. Now, on my travels, I have been review I've gotten two new figures and last month I got two more. Now, yeah. The well, man anyway, scoping on this figure is great except for one thing. The head. The head is not accurate. It is the uh it is the head from the mo from oh, wait. it's the battle mask that's what it is it was i think this was the last minute copy hopefully a third party can make another another head all right so for posability she has a double jointed leg it's actually pretty nice uh, feet can move, but that's just for transformation. Move up and down. Full rotate 360. Ball joint here, so we can go in. And... <sighs> yeah, apparently mine likes to fall apart, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some super glue all over the ball joint so it can be more tighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, it does count as a butterfly joint, at least. Full, full rotation, up and down, bending movement, very slight pressure joint. Can look up that far, like down that far, side to side. It can do a full 360, can do a full kick. Uh, cannot, sadly it cannot because of the little pl plate thing, so, but you can get some really decent poses, a little bit of decent poses, yeah, that looks good, for weapons, uh, I'll be right back, for weapons, uh, you get a little pea shooter, pea shooters that she was using, for last night they do tell you to put it in here but it is a part of her so what I do is I like to put it in her hands in her hands go pew pew bang bang I will paint her soon uh, there you go you can put in the it is a fake chest. There, this is a fake chest right here. Let's look, boom, boom, big reveal. Uh, 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 big reveal. All right. For size comparisons, for size comparisons, here we have. Hold up, hold up. Uh, your body. Hold up. I can fix it. There we go. Size comparisons. Here she is with one of the ones I shall review soon. TLK crosshairs. You have that. Here she is with two of her fellow comrades. Soundwave. Morph Cybertron Soundwave. Or Siege. Or whatever. Your choice, what you ever want to call it. I call for Morph Cybertron. Which will be reviewed next after this video.
very big figure. Alright, second is another Generations, Generations Blitzwing, hold up, Generations Titans Return Blitzwing, Bumblebee's Rival. And speaking of Bumblebee, this is the one thing that confused me, mostly. Here he is, here's Bumblebee holding the popper. Hold up. <sighs> Here we are, Bumblebee. I'm sorry guys, but there cannot be a review on Bumblebee because he has a little loose, he's a little loose. He's a little loose. That's what happened to all bumblebees now and then. They all get loosed. And I just got this one about like three months ago. He was the uh, three pack. But it's not about him. It's not about him. It's about her. It's a beautiful piece of art. So let's just get him out the way. figure. Now, for transformation. For transformation. Oh, wait, paint was. There's a lot of red on her. There's no black. There is no black. This is the car mode of her, but part of her should be black. I will be looking at pictures to see what is black and what is not black. Because this does not make any sense. It's not make any sense. But she is a solid figure. You can check her around. Get a little head spider and stuff. Now for transformation. For starters, you'll want to flip that down. We'll make some of the paint that I put on her. Red lights. Then you come to the wheel. And, uh, you uh, pull. You pull this out, and it is on a double hinge, so be careful. So you come around, and what you do is, once you get it out, like I said, it is. Hold on. Like I said, it is on a double hinge, so. It goes into the hole right here. So when you pull it out, make sure that you fully tap it in because there's a little port right there. And boop. And then you just force into it. And there you go. Foot. Then pull down the foot. Make sure you have the foot back. And there. There you go. You got part of the leg. The other side. Again, pull it out, make sure it goes into here, pull it down, and, and there we go, rotate it around, rotate it around. Set it around. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. Okay. Got nine minutes. All right, there we go. There we go. Focus. Focus. And then you tap that in. So there we have the bottom part. So now 
You flip this up. Now here's what you do. Like I said, it is a fake chess. So you flip this up and it reveals it. And I thought it will go this way, but it, you have to pull it. Okay, so it is a tab right here. So you have to flip it back all the way back. So the tab can make it through here. I'm glad you got these big ass suitcases. <laughs> but that one yours, the little one was the one. Yeah. And then this one <laughs> Give me a I'm kind of having trouble. Well, let me see when you get done. All right, the bathroom. I'll be right back in a flash. All right, I'm back. I'm going to figure it out. So what you do is... So what you do is, you gotta flip her head back. You flip the head back. Which will reveal her engine block. The movie. Little floppy things. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna leave it off. No. There you go, the engine block, out of front of the vehicle. There you go, there you go. Now, you move these front, move these up front. For, unfold these, pull it back. Then there we go. There's this little hole in here. little hole in here there you go and here's the back looks like a mess it's a little messy <sighs> little update before you do that to the legs, what I want you to do is un take the end take the front of her chest and fold it all the way down. So your arms can have room to come down. Just a little update. Just a little update. I'm just kidding, not an update. Okay. So I have not figured it out. This is not my first time doing it, but she is kind of a pain to transform. She does get on my nerves. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. I literally wasted 14 minutes trying to figure this out. There you go. There we go. There we go. Now, the arms, flip this up, then rotate, rotate this piece all the way around. This is some technical engineering they did here. 
<laughs> I'm back from my temple tantrum. My temper tantrum. <sighs> this figure is really a pain. As good as it is, it does fall apart easily. There's a lot of engineering on this figure that makes it so complicated. And I only have 15 minutes. Hold up, I'll come, oh! Finally, here she is, Studio Series Shatter. I'm not gonna do any comp. Mm. Just two. I'm just gonna do two. Here we are. Last night, Optimus freaking Prime. Here it is with my old style broken dr drift. Here it is. Not sound wave, but a regular car. That's it. That's it. I'm done this figure. She rolls really good. She rolls really good. For storage, take the gun, put it into the slot, and then you put it in here. What I consider not to do that, and here's why. It makes the car not want to roll. She rolls better on on soft fabric. Studio Sears Shatter. There you go. Studio Sears Shatter. It's T-O-K! Barricade!